Hello everyone, it's Kim and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing the May Owl Crate box, which I am super excited about because there's one item that I already know is in here and I cannot wait to see what it is. So let's jump right in with this unboxing. Let's open it up and see what we have for this month. Oh my gosh, I can get it open. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's that's different. That's new. I was, oh, there's no crinkle crap. There's no crinkly worms. Interesting. I'm already intrigued. All right. So the first thing on top is this really big pouch that has a fabric item in it. What's the, what's the actual, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Expect the unexpected. That is the, the theme for the box. I was like, I don't even know what the theme is. So expect the unexpected is the theme. So yeah, so we have this big fabric item. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a tote bag, ooh. This is nice. It's kind of like, it's almost like a towel slash corduroy type of material. It's really nice. And it has, does it have a zipper or just like, oh, yes. And it has a zipper. Perfect. With the little Alcrate logo on it. That's really cute. It says, may we meet again on distant shores, which I'm going to have to look at the card after we're done and see. 100% what book this is from because I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this is really nice. Really nice. And the strap is also adjustable, so handy. The next item I see is a I'll Create Exclusive Rule of Wolves item. Part of me is afraid to look at this because I have yet to read Rule of Wolves. It's on my TBR for May, but I'm, I'm just going to look at it anyway. We're all monsters now. So it's like a little kind of scarf or it could be a tapestry. You could hang it up as a tapestry as well. This is the Rule of Wolves item, which is really pretty, but now I kind of really want to read the book, like now. This is the item I've been waiting for. It's the Alcrete collectible book tin that are themed after the Lon uh, Darker Shade of Magic in the Londons. And so, which one is it? Grey London. It's Grey London. This is not the one I was guessing. I was hoping it was going to be White London because the Dane twins are my fave. But this is Grey London. Designed in collaboration with Forensics and Flowers. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, Crowned Captains, Deadly Pirate Kings and Queens. Stas Reskin. I think that's how you say that. I actually don't know. I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. And they're like a decent size to actually like put some stuff in. Oh. Now I'm going to have to go find the red one because I didn't buy that box. And now, now I'm going to, I need the, I need all, I need all four. Oh, Ooh, we have the two like villainous places left. White London and Black London. Oh, I'm excited. These are really cool. Okay, so next we have a vinyl sticker that says most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs. Yeah, so it's like a wolf and what looks like some constellations. So I'm going to also have to see where this one is from because I also have no idea because I'm not looking at the spoiler card. I can't even remember what fandoms were meant to be in this box either. So, but this is really pretty and I'll probably stick it on my laptop. Okay, so next we have this little paper pouch. Ooh. Ooh, is that metal? It is, it's like a metal bookmark. And this says, neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most infin, infin, infinite, oh gosh. Infinite, in, hmm. Big words are hard. Infinitesimal. 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 Okay, so I'm back after that. So let's, let me try to read this again. So it says on the one side, 
neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most infinitesimal spark of hope. Got it. And the other side says, hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. And it's really pretty. It has some like stars and, ooh, I don't, ooh, mine might be messed up. Oh no. That's okay. I will email. I have some like, it has scraped off a little bit, but like, Alcrate's usually really, really great at replacing items quickly, so I'm sure getting a new one will not be a problem at all. But it's still so pretty, and I also don't know. I recognize the one quote, but I honestly just can't. I, I'm gonna have to look at the sheet and insert where everything's from. And then we have this month's pin, which is log it's a wave with a moon and a sun, and it says, logic ends where love begins. And it's really a pretty one and this one was designed by icy designs so pretty really like that pin okay so we have reached the grand finale of the box and that is the book it is the ones we're meant to find by Joan he and oh this cover is so stunning I actually I'm gonna have to look and see what the difference is for the cover let's see but, oh, is there, is there, oh, okay, ooh, I think I like, I think I like the Alcrate cover better. It has a more purplish and pink sky compared to the more, like, tans and blues that the original cover has, so I think I'm liking this cover a bit more. Of course, we have the author letter, and it has the original cover on the back, so here are the two covers. I definitely like this one more. So let me go ahead and read the dust jacket for you so you can see what it's about. And yeah, so let's get going. It's been three years and 17 days since C woke up on the shore of an abandoned island. She has no idea how she came to be marooned or what her life was like before. She has only the rickety house by the sea, the android she built for company, and a single memory. Somewhere beyond the horizon, she has a sister, and it's up to C to escape the island and find her. A world away, 16-year-old STEM prodigy Casey is also looking to escape from the science she once believed in and from her home. The eco-cities Earth's last unpolluted habitats are meant to be a sanctuary for those from deserving lineages, for those committed to planetary protection, but instead they're populated by people willing to do anything for refuge, even lie. After a series of man-made disasters rock the planet, Casey must decide if she's ready to use science to help humanity, even though it failed the people who mattered most to her. From Joan He, the critically acclaimed author of Descendant of the Crane, comes a stunning science fiction novel with mind-blowing twists. That sounds really good. I kind of forgot what it was about. I knew it was about two sisters, but I kind of forgot that it was a science fiction book, which I'm excited about, because I, I feel like I haven't read too much science fiction lately and I usually read more so I'm excited to pick this one up it sounds amazing and I'm still like this cover I, I'm usually not a fan of people on the cover but illustrated ones like this love it absolutely love it let's see what it looks like without Ooh, we do have a nice design on the side silver little foiling on the naked hardback and the end pages are also really pretty as well definitely a beautiful book I'm not gonna lie I'm in, I'm liking it Ooh. and then here's the other end pages it's different super oh oh okay I see so one set of the end pages is one sister and the other end pages is the other sister that's a really cool touch I really like that and then of course we have the tip-in sheet that has her signature on it So that was the book. Let's go over the spoiler card real quick just so we know where everything is from. And so if you like any of the items, you can go check out the shops that made them. The first item that they talk about is of course the scarf. This is from Out of Print. And it's the and it's an exclusively exclusive officially licensed Rule of Wolves square scarf. Though I personally think that this material and the way it is, you could definitely kind of like iron it out a little bit and hang it up as a tapestry or frame it. And I think it would be really pretty. 
So this is from Out of Print, exclusive to Owlcrate. Next up, we have the corduroy bag, which was hand lettered by Studio Kira Calligraphy or Studio Kyra Calligraphy. And it is from um, the Illuminate Files trilogy. So it is from a quote from Obsidio. The vinyl sticker is from the Gilded Wolves and it is from Lion in the Trees and it's such, it's such a pretty design. It's really pretty. I think that would make a really nice pin too, that same design. But yeah, so it's from Lion in the Trees. Then we have the bookmark, the metal tassel bookmark. This is from, this was created by Pixel and Ink Creative. And it's a one quote from Scythe, and the other is from the fifth season, which is, I have not read those, which is why I didn't recognize them, though they're both sitting behind me on my TBR shelf. And of course, I already mentioned that the tin, book tin is a collectible book tin inspired by A Darker Shade of Magic, and this one is for Grey London, and it was created by Forensics and Flowers. And then I think I did mention that the pin was designed by Icy Designs, and it says that she took insp inspiration inspiration from the um design of the cover so and i can definitely see that with the design so. and then a fun little tidbit besides the summary for the book it says here that it is a twisty ya page turner that we didn't know we needed until we had this beautiful story in our hands it's we were liars meets black mirror with a dash of studio ghibli thrown in I, you know, if we're going to mention Hayao Miyazaki, like, I'm there. So that makes me even more excited about reading this book. Okay, everyone, so that is it for the unboxing of the May Alcrate box. I did enjoy this box. I don't know if it was my absolute favorite, but it definitely has a few items that I absolutely love, and I cannot wait to read the ones that we're meant to find. The ones, the ones we're meant to find. It sounds great. So if you've read this or you're intrigued by it, let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item from the box was. Mine was definitely the tin. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you liked it. And if you want more content from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And I will see you all very soon in a brand new video. Take care, everyone. Bye.